Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you the different ways to fix out the DirectX error while playing the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 edition. First of all, let me make you one thing very clear that it is already a known bug that is well known by the developer of this game. And in this video, I'm going to provide you the major fixes that help many users get back into the game. All these fixes are the probable fixes. I cannot assure you or I cannot guarantee you that these fixes will help you out. But I have created this video after testing different with different users. And after performing these steps, chances of get back into the game is around 60 to 70%. So let's go ahead and proceed with the resolutions. First of all, in the basic step, right click on start menu, choose option run, type here MS Info 32 and then hit the enter key. Now here you will find the option of secure boot state. If it is off, make sure you turn it on by entering into the BIOS menu. Secure boot state is a major requirement to play the game. So make sure you turn it on after entering into the BIOS menu of your system. Next one is again I am providing you the fix into the BIOS menu. In your BIOS menu, you will find the option of XMP profile. Make sure you completely disable the XMP profile by going either to the memory settings or this XMP profile settings you will get in the overclocking settings of your BIOS. So make sure you disable it. And second thing I recommend to disable is RAM speed. If your RAM has a speed which is more than 4000 or 5000 hazards, megahertz, I recommend to lower down or reduce your RAM speed to less than 3000 megahertz. After doing these steps, relaunch your game to fix out the DirectX issue. If this also fails, let's proceed with the next step. In next step, I have a series of recommended drivers for NVIDIA, AMD and Intel. So make sure you must downgrade your latest drivers because the latest drivers are not compatible with the games and in turn gives you the DirectX error. For NVIDIA, the recommended is 560.70 and for Intel, it is this one. And for AMD, the latest version of the AMD releases the latest version of the software to play Black Ops 6 is released, which is 24.10.1. Scroll down and here are the AMD drivers. Click on them, save them in your PC and install these AMD drivers and then relaunch the game to fix out a DirectX error while playing the Black Ops 6. Now if this method also failed to work out, in next step, head over to settings menu, choose system, click on the option display over here. Now scroll down and click on the graphics settings. Now in the graphics settings, if your system support hardware acceleration or GPU scheduling, make sure you turn it off. You will find the option of right like this, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure you turn it off. Once you're done so, relaunch your game to fix out the DirectX issues while playing the Black Ops 6. Now if none of these methods help you fix out the issue, I have different steps. You can perform these steps one by one so that you might be able to fix this direct X crashing error while playing Black Ops 6. Some of the solutions including are you need to reduce your VRAM scaling to 60. If you are using more than two monitors, make sure you unplug one of the monitor and use only the single monitor to play the game. Now if you are using Steam, in Steam you need to change the launch options or you need to play the game using direct X 11 only. So you need to type in under the launch options minus D3D11. One more settings you need to change is by going to the graphic settings, you will find the option of streaming texture. Make sure you turn it off. And last but not the least, if you are using Windows 11, I recommend to downgrade your Windows 11 to Windows 11 22 S2 or else play the game only in Windows 10. These are the possible fixes that help you at least reduce the direct X crashing issues while playing the game Black Ops 6. So if these methods help you work out, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.